Mike, Jeff the guy, how are you all doing? Hope you can see me, I'm bending down by the pond. Um, something I've never done before is test my chlorine in the water. So I've ordered some of those DP4 tablets. Uh, I picked them up on eBay, they're only a couple of quid. So it will be interesting to do a test. Now I'm gonna run a test on my tap water and then I'm gonna test the pond and obviously there should be a noticeable difference. Now I do use my three stage dechlorinator, but how good is it? Will I have chlorine in the pond? I'm, I am expecting to find some traces in there. Um, so I'm gonna get that done and, and see what results I've got. Um, I'll just get set up and I'll be back to you in a sec. Right, when you're doing this, you only need to wait about 30 seconds. So this is the one out of the tap. Um, it's in there a minute. The best way, I'm told it's a lockdown. You can see that has gone pink already. So it's definitely chlorine in the tap, which you know, you would expect. Um, so I'm just giving this 30 seconds. Just coming up there now, it's been in a little while, so there's a definite pink colour there, so it's definitely chlorine. Now we're going to put the other tablet in. Um, let me just pop it in, get it out of the packet, and I'll be back to you. Right, so just pop that one in and put them side by side so we can see the difference. Again, we'll, uh, we'll give it 30 seconds or so. seconds now obviously you can quite clearly see there's a colour in there um, and to be honest that looks pretty good to me just check it from yeah. I'd say that's pretty clear so you know the, if there is any chlorine it's a tiny tiny amount because that looks really clear to me you see that one's out of the tap and this one and that's the one out of the pond so yeah I'm pretty pleased with that never done that test before so happy days right guys I've been recommended this now I normally use the Evolution Aqua uh, bombs, um, but I've been recommended this from Mark from Mark's Country Koi. Um, now he said this is a dual boost and it'll work much better. 
Um, so what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to put that into my bio, obviously in the, the moving bed in my third uh, tub. And hopefully that will help reduce my nitrite. Um, as you know, if you've been following the channel, my nitrite has been a little bit high. I mean, I am going through the new pond syndrome a minute. All my other parameters are good. pH is good, KH is good, ammonia zero. Um, I am doing small 10% water changes weekly to try and keep that nitrite down. Um, but apparently, these are highly recommended um, and they work well with nitrite. So I'm going to get that in my moving bed and uh, hopefully that will that will give me the results I'm looking for. Um, I will check my nitrite again this evening, which I'll show you. Um, and then we can check it again in a couple of days time and see if there's any improvement. So I've taken the lid off. You can see the gel balls in there. Obviously I can pour this straight in. Now, um, I was just reading the um, instructions. Um, and basically the first phase consists of a highly active enzyme an active bacteria liquid gel which breaks down organic waste ammonium and nitrite in the pond um, it can also be used to activate or boost the beneficial bacteria in pond filters and then the second phase is a gel bowl containing important trace elements and concentrates uh, mineral, minerals and valuable additives that artificial ponds often lack. So these two phases should give a perfect pond biology. So it'll be interesting to see what results I get. So I'm going to get that put in and I'll be back to you. Right guys, testing the night right. So um, I've just set a 10 minute timer so that's on at the moment. Um, it's in the evening now, we're on 19.4 degrees, so it's starting to cool down a little, it hasn't been the best of weather the last few days. Fish are all looking good, like I say the night right is, is up a little but fish are fine um, and they've started feeding pretty well now they are having quite a bit of day um got some meal over there which i'm going to give them a, a bit of a treat um picked up this bag of mealworm it's, it's 4.99 um i mean vince um mentioned to get that from home bargains 4.99 i mean you can't go wrong absolutely hell of a price and if you don't know vince's Get over the twisted koi and uh, say hi to Vince from me. And I tell you what, since I've been giving them the mealworm, they are loving it. They were a bit, at first, they were a bit uh, skeptical of it, but uh, they love it now. Even the new ones, they, they, they are loving it, it's straight up for it. Where have they gone? Oh, there's the Matsuba, there's the uh, Showa. I did see the other two here not so long ago. Is your cheap and look he's there where's this chag then chag's normally up oh there he is there's the chag
I like the grow on size fish. I don't know why. I, I just think it appeals to me when you see them actually pack on a bit of size. Um, it's, you know, when they're more mature, the older ones, they don't tend to, to grow much more, but uh, the smaller ones, I enjoy watching them, watching them grow. And I'm hoping these are a better bloodline than some of my older fish anyway, so they should grow a lot better. Um, and I'm using the JPD uh, Shiro, the growth, so should all help. While I'm waiting for, for that, um, I, want to, I want to give a shout out to uh, Simon at Up North Koi Pond. He's just got a thousand subscribers. Great channel, real nice guy. Um, if you haven't seen his channel, it's Up North Koi Pond. Um, get over there, have a little look. Um, well, well worth uh, a watch. And another one I've been watching lately. Um, is Phil G's Koi Pond. Um, he's in the middle of a new build at the moment. So you need to get over there and uh, have a little look. If you like your pond builds, he's, he's in the middle of doing one at the moment. It's really enjoyable. I don't know what's up with this camera, it keeps cutting out and I got plenty of memory on it. I'd... Anyway, I'll get back to you when, uh, when the result is through. I also want to give a shout out to a fellow uh, Taff, he doesn't live far from me and I do need a catch up with him one day. Um, Lee Hadfield, um, the bloke, I don't know, he's a machine. He's, he's in the middle of building another pond. I think it's 5,000 gallon he's aiming for. Um, he's cracking on big time. Um, I know he's an ex-para, but where he's getting the energy from, I don't know, fair play to the guy, he's flat out. Um, can't be doing much work, I don't think, brother. <laughs> but uh, he's flat out in his pond. So, yeah, shout out to him as well. Like I say, I think he's, a, he's only a couple of miles from me. I'll have to catch up one day. If you're watching, Lee, I know you promised me a mug to put down there. And we'll have a, I'll have to have a catch up with you. Right, I think this night right is now done. My timer was going off on the phone. I think that's why you can't, can't cut the note. Right, so as you can see, I've got night right. Um, you know, it's not off the scale, but it, it's, there's night right there. So I'm hoping now, um, I mean, it hasn't gone up. I've started feeding a lot heavier and that has not gone up so um let's see if you look through there it's more in the center than the dark color on the bottom that's the way i usually look at it um, to see which one is nearer so it's near the, the center than, than the bottom which is uh, a good thing <laughs> So, be interesting to see now if those duo bombs do any difference. So, I'll be checking them over. I'll probably give it a week. It's not going to instantly work, but uh, I'll be checking it in a few days' time. New wind chime is working well. Right, I think I'll end this video, guys, there for that. It's only a short one. Um, and I'll let you know the improvements of that on, on another video. But uh, for now, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And if you can, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. As you know, I, I love all the coin mates. And uh, 
think of you all as mates and subscribers but if you can hit that button really appreciate it all the best for now guys